Greetings, dear friends! I present your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that are found on the Fiat Albea. As already mentioned, the Fiat Albea is only front-wheel drive and only with a 5-speed manual gearbox. The design is time-tested and differs little from those used on old Fiats from the 80s. The box is a classic two-shaft, the switching mechanism is driven by cables, a clutch with a damper, a release fork and a hydraulic drive. There is even a plug for draining the oil in the box. The main weak point is precisely the oil, which leaves the box quite quickly in aged cars. The oil seals are not very reliable and even the shaft are at the point of contact with the oil seals gradually wear out. At the same time, the volume of oil in the gearbox is small, only 1.5 liters, so it is worth refilling at each maintenance and changing every 2 or 3 years. The operation is simple, just drain the oil and pour a new one through the hole. If the oil leaves, the primary shaft bearing is in the risk zone. It is with the plastic cage and is destroyed first. Over time, oil starvation finishes off both the input shaft bearings and the differential bearings. Bearings can be found significantly cheaper if you look not by the factory code, but by size. If the differential 63 per 38 per 17 and 68 per 40 per 19 are used, on the secondary shaft it is 24 per 58 per 17. SKF counterparts are even cheaper than Fiat asks for a very strange original. In the most extreme cases, the box can be bought not only from disassembly in an incomprehensible state, but also completely new. As of the spring of 2019, it is still on sale and costs less than 60,000 rubles, which is just a penny in comparison with the prices for Europeans. The same problematic F17 was not sold at Opel for less than 250 new ones, except for the remnants for the warehouses. The age-related wear of the manual gearbox, in addition to the oil seals, also affect the synchronizers and the gear shift mechanism. With runs over 200,000, the chances of a clear work of the wings and the cables are minimal. And the cables also tend to sour in humid climates and in cases where the car is standing for a long time. Like the gearbox, the engine on the Russian Elbia is the only one. The old-fashioned Aspired 1.4 FIRE series with two valves per cylinder. It surprises with good power, still 7780 horsepower. For such a design, this is decent, especially since the engine supports Euro 3 and has a collector, and judging by the Italian resources, it is well boosted. The secret is that there is a phase shifter here. This addition is enough to give an extra 10 horses and meet all the economic norms. There is a cast iron block, an aluminum cylinder head and a timing belt drive. By the way, in case of phase out of sync, it doesn't bend the valves. Italians also often forget about replacing the belt on time. The design has been tested by time and has no weak points in terms of mechanics. Maximum maintainability and motor is very simple and easy to repair. At the same time, the resource of the piston group is up to 350 400,000 km. True, the oil appetite increasing after 200,000 and the tendency to the occurrence of wings can lead to early overhaul. The loss of wing mobility is mainly a consequence of the overly optimistic Italian norms for the oil change interval up to 30,000 km and also overheating. The motor is famous not only for its reliability, but also for its long warm-up time. This can be attributed to design features, although the situation is often complicated by a leaking thermostat. Its resource is relatively small, it is best to change it every 4-5 years. For cars with runs over 200, the thermostat is already working out in the housing, it stops centering correctly, and even installing a new plate with a valve doesn't give it any effect. It's better to change the entire assembly. Oil leaks through the gasket are a common thing. The oil seals and seals in motors do not differ in special quality, and the ventilation system is primitive. Besides, the oil separator in the cylinder head cover becomes clogged and ceases to perform its functions after 6 years. So replacing the cylinder head gasket, replacing the oil filler cap next, it also breaks in half sometimes, and all rings in the cylinder head cover, the events are quite regular. As in the box, there is not much oil in the engine, only 2.6 liters, so that even a small appetite for oil threatens that engine. 300 gram per thousand through a piston and even 200 gram through the ventilation system, and now after 5000 km the engine remains completely without oil. In general, you need to closely monitor this. By the way, motors are excellent for decoking. Only the oil pressure sensor, after using aggressive chemicals, will probably go to waste. While if it comes to overhaul, then it will not ruin. 
The budget is usually 50-60 thousand for work and parts, which is quite at the level of buzz. Despite a number of weaknesses, the car turned out to be tenacious, extremely budget-friendly to operate and moreover with a decent level of passive safety. True, at the same time it's quite old-fashioned, low power rate, with an interior from the 80s, open without ABS and in general in poor performance. On this information about the problems of Fiat, Albia is exhausted. If you know more or disagree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.